Hi, my name is Dr. Adams, and I'm a dentist at Maryland Holistic Dentist in Burtonsville, Maryland. And today I'm going to do a video about how to properly remove a tooth and clean it, treat it with PRF, and get the bone to grow properly back into the jawbone. There's been a lot of discussion about this, but uh, this video will actually show how we do it. We're going to extract the tooth today, and we're going to treat the site, and you'll see how it works. This tooth right here is tooth number 30. And so what I'm going to do, since this tooth has two roots uh, that kind of look like this, I'm going to separate the tooth into two pieces and I'm going to kind of just cut it front to back here. And then we can easily take it out like two splinters rather than trying to pull it out in one big piece, which would be much more traumatic. Here to go. All right. So can I... Does that hurt at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, good one. Let me know if I'm raising your right hand up. I'll help you out, okay? Okay, I'm gonna make sure this is... It doesn't hurt, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me call the tooth with that one. By the way, if you look down in the tooth, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this tooth actually still does have some living tissue in there. Um, that is a lot of uh, blood for a tooth. It's only a few pinpricks worth, but this tooth has probably been hurting for a while. And these teeth will have three or four nerves in them. And the truth of the matter is, there's probably one or two that's dead and another one that's alive. It doesn't hurt, right? Mm -mm. Okay. No, it's really fun. If you want, you can. Uh, The next thing I'll do is I want to get in here and just make sure we have the tooth in two pieces. So I'm just going to kind of wiggle this. You may hear a little pop or something. Okay, that's just the tooth kind of finally gets into two pieces. You can hear a little bit of stretching noises sometimes. Does that hurt at all? Mm -mm. You'll feel the pressure of me wiggling, right? But you don't feel any like deep down like pain. At this point, we've actually gotten the tooth out. As you can see, uh, this root came out very cleanly in one piece. We did a really good job of just separating it right down the middle. Um, this is the actual other root. And then uh, in the process of extraction, the crown separated from the root. But I think, uh, needless to say, it was pretty smooth. I think it took us maybe three or four minutes to get this tooth out. So now we're at the point where we get to the most important part. Uh, let's come over here and take a look at the two site. You can see that really not much uh, collateral damage has occurred to the extraction site. We have uh, gum tissue that uh, has been relatively unaltered and the neither one of the te next door teeth have been uh, damaged. I can put my finger in here and feel that the bone on the front and the back are very much intact. This is really exactly the way you want things to be. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the periodontal ligament, which uh, I do with this curette instrument. Sometimes there's the need for some strategies that are a little more aggressive, but this uh, is a tooth that's really fairly uh, easy to clean. You're not going to be able to hear as much now, so I'm going to turn the suction on. Got the suction in here. Just going to get this instrument down here and really clean. You can see that these are the little fibers. You can get suction that way. That's fine. Get down in this site. You really want to make sure to get down to the bottom. Get it all clean. There's not any scar tissue or cysts at the bottom of this area. That's much more common in root canal extractions. I got a video called How to Properly Remove the Root Canal Tooth that you can watch. There's a lot more going on with those teeth. This is the ozone and oxygen gas. We more or less will just bubble this down into the extraction site. You can see bubbles forming. The other thing you see here too, there's not a lot of blood, but there's a little bit that lets us know that this bone is alive and healthy. And then the final thing that we do is we put the platelet rich fiber in. These are the two vials of blood that we drew here. 
and you can see that there's two layers basically the yellow layer on top and the red layer on the bottom the yellow layer is essentially uh, what we're after it's a mixture of uh, white blood cells platelets fibrin there's a lot of bone growth factors in there and uh, yeah pick up this up and close and we want to get the red part of it off this stuff is very uh, fluid and we want that fluid we're going to come over here to our extraction site we're going to put the uh, platelet rich fibrin in here it looks very substantial it's going to seem like it really isn't going to want to go in there but I've trained my, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've trained my fingers to really get it going in the right direction. And then when you get it near in there, you can start pushing it with a little bit of cotton. You'd be surprised how much this stuff will fit in here. Go ahead. Okay, this is what the site looks like once we have the you know, red spider in there. So you can see the sites are totally filled with uh, the fibrin. And all we have left to do at this point is go ahead and apply a couple stitches.